Hi guys, so this is a tutorial showing you how to do the scrolls from www.arkeishalewisgraphics.com And if you buy files from my website, you'll see that um, my files are huge and I like to use large pixels. So if you have to scroll down, scroll up, whatever you need to do, it won't change your image quality. You will have great image quality. So once you get all the files you need to use, then you'll just resize resize it to a, a workable. You don't need to worry about um, your sizing until you start to use it for until um, you start refining it for whatever you're going to put this on. You can put this on your t on t-shirts, jewelry, whatever you want to use this for. Cups, mugs, tumblers, whatever. Hats, shirts, purses leggings joggers whatever you want to use it for so i'm going to show you how to use the scrolls and we're going to start with the um print thin cut because if you'll go to my site i'll have stuff on there that you can use for print thin cut or i'll have stuff that you can use to cut so these don't particularly match but i'm just using these for um Tutor for the tutorial purposes but for these are print and cut images so let's say you're gonna make you're gonna use this for earrings so let me zoom in and your earrings are let's say your these earrings that you're gonna make are three inches so if you wherever you decide to make your nameplate image that is totally up to you. I'm just showing you how to use the image that you make with the image that you bought from me that I already have made. So you'll pull your nameplate, print then cut nameplate image in if, if it's not already in Cricut. Once you get it in and you get it set up to three inches, the size you need, then you'll want to make sure the uh, scroll is the same size. Is at least three inches so now that's that and to attach it with this you'll see this comes down a bit so you have to play with your um you might have to bring this in and go ahead and size it and then you play with your uh, fonts to get this to match up accordingly So you, you may even have to cover it some and that's fine that works it doesn't look bad it looks all right so let's say that this is it this is what you're going to go with now in order to be able to use this you're going to have to go up here and you're or over here and you're going to have to attach these so that it is one and let's just double check so i can make sure hit make so as you see it is all one image so okay you have that um, attached so you'll want to make sure you duplicate that for your other earring and let's say that is okay that is your front plates so it does duplicate again and let's for the for your back plate if you want it to look like this that's fine if you if you um there's no need to waste paper for um print and cut to make the back look the same you could easily just use a glitter card stock or a gold foil or a silver foil or what are a colored foil card stock or plain plain car, colored card stock it's up to you so you want to make that a no fill and make sure those two are attached so so for for the sake of this let's say that we're going to make this a pink foil so these were will, will be for the back of your name plates and then you would take this and duplicate again and let's make turn it into a cut file no fill and let's 
make it a lighter gray because if I make it white, if I make it white, you can see it. Let's say we're going to make this white because you're going to use this to go behind the printing cut images for your layers. So you would print, you would um, duplicate this as many times as you needed. Let's say you were going to use. Um, four layers per uh, per earring. So all of these would stack up with each other. So I'll leave it like that so you can see that it is stacked. And then this image To the front would stack on top of that so you would glue all of this together all of this would be glued together and then you would glue one of these to the back of this then you would do the same thing for that earring and if you wanted to make a necklace you could also do that with this same image I have videos showing you how to create a necklace so that's all that you would have to do for the printing cut and when I say stack these you would cut this from white card stock or black card stock or color card stock whatever you wanted the best is 110 pound card stock because if anything thinner than that you'll be gluing multiple multiple layers so you would cut this out of your white card stock you will load your um, glossy photo paper matte photo paper whatever you're gonna print this out on I like to use the Epson presentation paper in the matte and that is printable on both front on both the front and the back and it is great paper it gives you great printouts okay and this let's just say it was pink foil you would buy the pink foil cardstock and cut this out of that that is all you would need to do for the print and cut that's how you would attach these um, scrolls from my site okay so let's group all of this and turn it off okay let's say you get this from my site star scroll I did it in multiple um, layers so you could use use whichever pieces you'd like however you'd like to do the combination so with this you're gonna with this you would have to get a shape to slice these apart because it comes as one PNG image. So you grab a shape, put it over it, select both of them and slice. I'm just gonna use one for the sake of time. Grab another shape, put it over there, and slice. I'm going to cut that off. So I'm going to use this. And I've already, from a previous um, job or order, I already had this done. So I'm going to use this to show you what we will be doing here. As a matter of fact, I do need to get this shadow piece here. So let me get a square. Get a shape. Put it over. I could use either one, but I want this one here. I'm just going to use that one to show you the video. I mean this tutorial okay now I need to slice these okay sometimes I have these templates too on my website where I'll go ahead and make a word and just do two to to the um background and the name layer 
so you could just use it it's already pre-done you could just use it so let's decide what size we're going to do this earring or necklace let's go ahead and make this a blue and let's say we're going to do this one purple for the background let's bring that to the front okay so that's what it will look like when, once you put it all together so let's say you're going to do earrings and again we're just going to let's let's go with three three is right here three inch so your scrolls are going to need to be three inch as well bring that to the front of this one you could do over here or you could just come over here you want to um, change both of these at the same both of these scrolls at the same time just like you did did with these um, the uh, word you want to change both of them at the same time so it'll be the same size it would match up so you want that three inch wide as well so you want to make this make that purple and let's see before we do that let's slide it together wow we have it so we can see how we want it okay we want it like so so let's take this out of the way take this out of the way for these two you want to select and you want to hit weld makes it one piece and you don't need to weld these two so you have this and let's again let's just go in here and change it up again we're gonna do this back piece purple We want to do this piece bring to the front we have that piece that's going to go there bring to the front we have this piece I'm just going to change it yellow so you can see it and it's going to go here now you could glue it over it under it whichever one you want it to do and it's just the way this lines up you can fix it so it does not touch that's up to you but this I'm just showing you how to put it together so now you would duplicate these if you're going to use it for earrings don't do any size change and duplicate those let's say you cut these from gold foil you cut this from purple you cut that from blue and if you're going to make layers then you make layers of each one just like i did the other earring the other um printing cut before this one that is how you connect the um scrolls to your name layers or shadow layers that is it I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.